citizens in our national and local communities. We are united in our commitment to dismantling systems of oppression against black students and students of color in our school communities. We believe that our schools are sacred places grounded in love for Madison's youth. We believe that honest conversation with regard to racial bias and racist practices is paramount to progress. We are anti-racist leaders and allies. We are the principals of Madison's six high schools. We are united. Hello everyone, I'm News 3 Now's Susan Simon. And I'm Eric Franke. Tonight we are here to celebrate Madison La Follette High School's Class of 2020. This is your time, Lancers. Now we know you didn't quite get the send off you were hoping for. 2020 has been a bit of a rough one for all of us. We know you've been cheated of some special memories. Make no mistake, you will never forget how unique your experience has been. But what you're going through now and the way you've handled it will make you stronger people in the future. Expose to the unpredictability of a 21st century world like no other graduating class in the history of La Follette High School. So, like all of us, learn from this experience. You are our future leaders. Never tell yourself you can't, never sell yourself short, but enjoy this time and treasure it. Be grateful for those who helped you get here and be ready to use all your raw talent to give back. America is not made, it is in the making. The outlook is hopeful. There is no room for pessimism. Mere passive citizenship is not enough. The words of Robert M. La Follette in Washington, D.C., August 11th, 1924. Again, now is your time, Lancers. Go make Fightin' Bob proud, everyone. Congrats to you, the class of 2020. Welcome, graduates, friends, family, faculty, and staff to this special celebration of the Robert M. La Follette High School Class of 2020. Born to Make History. Presented by News 3 Now and streamed live on Channel 3000. Hello, my name is Cherie Thibodeau and I am an assistant principal at Robert M. La Follette High School. On behalf of all of the staff at La Follette High School, I want to sincerely welcome all of the graduating seniors, their families, loved ones, and friends as well as the community members and partners who continue to work to ensure La Follette students can be successful. While this may not be the graduation that any of us imagined, we are grateful for the time together to recognize and celebrate all of our graduates for the hard work that it has taken for them to reach this important milestone. We have missed spending time with you in the hallways and classrooms over the past three months. We are proud of you. We believe in you. We celebrate you all. Welcome to the celebration of the graduation of the class of 2020. Hola, mi nombre es Cherie Thibodeau y soy directora asistente en la Escuela Secundaria Robert M. La Follette in Madison. En nombre de todo el personal de La Follette, quiero dar la más sincera bienvenida a todos los estudiantes graduados de último año, sus familias, seres queridos y amigos, así como a los miembros de la comunidad y socios que continúan trabajando para garantizar que los estudiantes de la Follette pueden tener éxito. Si bien esta puede no ser la graduación que cualquiera de nosotros imaginó, estamos agradecidos por el tiempo juntos para reconocer y celebrar a todos nuestros graduados por arduo trabajo que les ha llevado a alcanzar este importante hito. Hemos extrañado pasar tiempo con ustedes en las pasillos y en los salones de clases durante los últimos tres meses. Estamos orgullosos de ustedes. Creemos en ustedes. Los celebramos. A todos, bienvenidos a esta celebración de la graduación de la clase de 2020. And next, we will hear from the Class of 2020 Student Council President, Molly Peden. Today is the day, maybe not the day we pictured, but the day we've waited for for 12 long years. 
On behalf of the class of 2020, I'd like to begin by saying a huge thank you to our parents, guardians, teachers, mentors, and for all of those who have supported us during our 12 years in Madison Public Schools. We truly could not have done it without you. I have never been one for quotes, so I will start off by saying this. Our class is truly unique. No one is quite like us. We were born in a time of unrest during 9-11. We had code red drills and learned protocols for school intruders. We were the first students in history to be one-to-one -one with technology. We marched at the Capitol for gun control, Black Lives Matter, Dreamers, LGBTQ plus rights, and climate change. Today, we are graduating virtually for the first time in history. Many of us feel our senior year has been cut short. We didn't realize how quickly we'd experience our last. We felt we were cheated of prom, sports, performances, and graduation. But I believe we are gaining experience that we didn't know we needed. Now is the time to be open to new opportunities. Truly, no other class is quite like us. Through all of this, we are still here today. We have chose to persevere through all uncertain times, and we did it together. I believe we will walk away from this experience stronger. I was recently FaceTiming with my grandma, and she told me about this shirt that said, our school year was cut short, but our dreams won't be. And that resonated with me and showed me, despite COVID-19, we, st we still all have our future. So here's to the class of 2020. Make all your dreams come true. And next we will hear from the cl our class of 2020 graduate, Colton Curley. I'd just like to start off by saying thank you. Thank you to the teachers, administration, support staff, and counselors who now more than ever have shown us how much they care about their students. You are all amazing. We see your hard work and we appreciate you. Okay, wow, are we already done? No one saw this twist coming. We won't return to the building that represents La Follette to finish our senior year, but we are still together as Lancers. We shared moments that turned into memories, just as ramen turned from a snack to a full course meal during my time at home. Now first, I'd like to talk about growth. We all grew as athletes, artists, musicians, and many of us grew up physically in high school. For example, my hair went from, ooh, who's that, to, ooh, who's that? No, but in reality, it's crazy how far we've all come. From pickup basketball games in elementary school to what would have been the state tournament. And we all know who the champions would have been from singing in children's choir to taking home statewide awards for our high school musical. Take a moment and celebrate your growth. We have a lot to be proud of. As a La Follette graduate, you have life skills like adaptation and social awareness that put you ahead of others. The class of 2020 walked into freshman year without the things we now consider essential. I mean, TikTok, Venmo, Uber Eats, Visco, and would you just look at us now? But in all seriousness, we are leaving high school with a completely different class schedule, different policies, different principles, and of course, the lessons learned as we navigate through this difficult time. All of these things made us stronger and prepared us for anything. Maybe even another Billie Eilish song. Now, as Lancers, we are some of the most socially aware students in the state. We attended one of the most diverse high schools, chose to challenge norms, worked through our problems, and accepted our differences. We held rallies and protested because we didn't take no for an answer. And we wanted the best for everyone. Continue to stand for what you believe in and know that you can make a difference after you leave high school. Keep the lessons learned as a Lancer by your side. If you can sit through the line out of the parking lot every day after school, you have the power to accomplish anything. And always remember, never give up your two-minute opportunity to be on time. These last four years wouldn't have been the same without you. I will miss you all so much. Congratulations, and L's up. And next, we will hear from Class of 2020 graduate, Donald Conway. My fellow students, I am Donald Conway. Today, we stand on the edge. Behind us is all we have ever known. High school, growing up, and becoming the people we are today. Ahead of us is the future. Uncertain, yes, but full of promise and hope. The recent global pandemic has influenced all of us. I, for one, would never have dreamed of a virtual graduation, and yet here we are. Through this time of difficulties and concerns, there is always hope. One day, this pandemic will be vaccinated and cured. 
One day, we will gather and celebrate like we always have. One day, one of us might be on a team to work on future health issues. No one expected this pandemic to occur. We can only make the best of what has happened. I see Lancers donating their time and talent to help those in need. I see Lancers contributing to essential roles in the workforce, risking their own health to support their neighbors and communities. And I have seen Lancers strive to continue learning new content, even after our grade switch to pass fail, learning for learning's sake. And today, I see Lancers who are standing on the edge and are ready to take the next big step in their lives. Whether this means entering the workforce, attending college, taking a gap year, joining the military, or anything else, I know that we will be successful in whatever we pursue. Because we are the La Follette class of 2020. We were born in the wake of 9-11, and we are graduating during the greatest global pandemic of the century. Despite these challenges, we have grown and overcome barriers in every sense of the word. We have learned that we are in control of our lives. We have learned the power of hope, that it can carry us through our darkest times. We may stand on an edge, but I believe that the future holds more joy and opportunity than the past ever did. La Folla Class of 2020, this is Donald Conway, and I applaud each and every one of you today as we graduate together. And next, we will hear from Class of 20 graduate Facundo Ortiz Santana. March 13, 2020. That was the day we last stepped into our high school. The thing is, nobody knew that would be the last time we would be there as seniors. But there are two ways we can see the situation. We can feel bad because our high school experience didn't end up the way we thought it would. Or we could see it as a reason to pause and be thankful. So I encourage you to look at the person beside you or send a text to someone, whether it's a friend, family member, teacher, or fellow graduate, and say thank you. Because even through those hard times, they were always there. Graduating today means that we overcame the hardest obstacle. Having to stay at home, not being able to go to school, was something that nobody was expecting. But thanks to our teachers and faculty, the biggest celebration of our lives as possible. I represent our Latinx community. As an immigrant, I arrived to this country four years ago, not knowing English or how the system even worked. Thanks to the wonderful help of our school, I learned how to speak the language and understand it. Graduating helps me show everyone that anything is possible. Si yo pude, tú puedes. If I did it, you can do it. You're leaving high school with the whole world in your hands, ready to inspire your future generations to keep fighting for the dreams as well as you did. So go on and make this world a better place. We are Lancers. And next, we will hear from our class of 2020 graduate, Lauren Trowbridge, who will introduce our keynote speaker. Hi, my name is Lauren Trowbridge and I am a graduate of La Follette High School, class of 2020. Today, I have the pleasure of introducing Andrew Bentley, our commencement keynote speaker. Andrew is proud to have been born and raised on the east side of Madison. He graduated from La Follette in 2002. He's currently a member of, La, of the La Follette Board of Visitors. Andrew got his Bachelor of Science degree from Northwestern University in Journalism and Political Science. He worked at Google for much of his career and is the co-founder of Global Health Corps, a nonprofit that builds a movement of young leaders to improve health systems, among many other accomplishments. Andrew lives in Minneapolis with his wife and two children. Just a few days ago, he graduated from Harvard University's Kennedy School and received a Master in Public Administration. He was a Presidential Scholar in the Mid-Career Program, focusing on racial justice, leadership, and inclusive economic development. Please welcome Andrew Bentley. Congrats to the seniors of La Follette High School. I'm so proud of you. I also want to congratulate the parents, grandparents, siblings, and friends of the graduates. And thank you so much for the invitation to speak today. It's a tremendous honor that I cherish. It's such an honor because La Follette is a big part of my story. In 1972, my mom Annette walked across the stage an LHS graduate. In 2002, the year many of you seniors were born, I followed in her footsteps. I have a lot of great memories from my senior year, including being a co-captain of the volleyball team that went to the state tournament. And more importantly, we never lost to East High School. I was also co-captain of the math team, and even though we were mediocre, I don't really remember our record, 
I am confident we also never lost to East High School. Now, La Follette is where I began to find myself, but just a handful of years earlier, I was struggling to reconcile my love of learning with the expectation that others had for me. In the first week of sixth grade at Senate, my teacher Lois Bell sat me down and said, I have a plan for you. Recognizing my academic potential, she put me in an advanced math class. And by the eighth grade, I walked over to La Follette every morning to take honors geometry, which at the time felt as daunting as it was energizing. Mrs. Bell's plan not only raised the expectations I had of myself, it taught me it was okay to embrace my love of school, and it helped me identify a lifelong guiding value, a devotion to learning. And that value helped me take bold and unexpected actions, like working 10 years at Google, a company that demands constant and rapid learning from its employees. It was also why I sat in the front row of all my classes at Harvard, paying tribute to that little kid still inside me that just loves to read. To all you graduating seniors, I now channel Mrs. Bell, I have a plan for you. But before we get to that plan, I want you to know that I understand what you may be feeling watching this virtual commencement in this era of social distancing. I'm a first generation college graduate who just finished the graduate program of my dreams. And instead of tossing my cap to the sky with my classmates at Harvard, I watched my commencement on an old laptop in my backyard. I missed the little moments like linking arms with a close friend in the hallway between classes and the big moments, like hugging my dad to thank him for, well, to thank him for everything. But okay, listen up. I want all of you graduating seniors to pay attention. Your accomplishment isn't weakened by this unusual ending. There is an asterisk next to the class of 2020, but it marks your bravery in navigating the desperation that surrounds you while somehow you finished your schoolwork. Stand proudly while wearing your cap and gown and mask. And that leads me back to my plan for you. Your unique potential that comes for being a La Follette graduate is needed now more than ever. And my plan is for you to walk into that daunting and energizing world that's in crisis with a deep sense of self understanding. For you to unmask yourself. Not literally though, please do wear masks in public. The first element of this plan is self-care. It is critical. A part of self-care is finding ways to understand your feelings through reflection. And tools for reflection can take many forms, including making art or taking walks, or my favorite, which is writing. But you have to get to a place where the mind is still and you have clarity of thought. It takes a lot of practice. Self-care also means applying compassion towards yourself. You have to treat yourself like you would treat a best friend. Don't ever minimize your pain. If you're overwhelmed or confused, reach out to someone who's a good listener, and it may be best for that person to be a trained therapist. Now, the second component of this plan is to practice a radical commitment to empathy. This is the attempt at understanding and sharing the feelings of others. It'll help you see the world through their eyes, giving you new perspectives. And when you see these new perspectives, It'll give you a chance to hear your own voice. It's a voice that's deep inside you that gives you confidence, even if you're doing something that's unpopular. When my son was born five years ago, I was at the height of my career at Google, but I fell in love with taking care of him. And by reflecting on these feelings and seeing the world through his eyes, I heard my own voice. I left my dream job and I became a stay at home father for three years. It was one of the best decisions I've ever made. And once you hear your own voice, the next step in this plan is for you to take bold action. This will expand your capacities. Sometimes boldness can be as simple as saying a short sentence to the person you can't live without, I love you. Or it could be working at a system level to eradicate the problems of our East Side community, like economic inequality, racial disparities, and the opioid epidemic. Whatever it is, you will have to put yourself on the line. And sometimes it won't work out. A few years ago, I pitched my company on Shark Tank and no matter how well I knew my stuff, Mark Cuban wasn't having it. I was rejected in front of millions of people and that episode is still on rerun. 
But after using what I've learned in my journey of self-understanding, like reflection, I processed my very public failure and I became stronger. Self-care, radical empathy, and bold action. Your reward for going on this journey of self-understanding is a chance to write your own story instead of it being written by other people around you. And when you do this, society is rewarded. When you find work that brings you energy, we all become more energetic. When you develop your own concept of justice, we all become more just. When you love the person that you want to love, we all become more loving. I really hope you'll embark on this journey because I also have a plan for our community and that plan is you. Thank you so much. And next we will hear from La Follette High School principal, Devon LaRosa. Senior class of 2020, I, Devon LaRosa, principal of Follett High School, have the honor of presenting the class of 2020. On behalf of all the staff here at La Follette, we're excited for you to see you find success beyond our school walls. And please know we already miss you. I would like to start first here with this unprecedented 2020's most overused and abused word unprecedented, never done or known before. No doubt this is a unique moment for this class, for this community, this state and nation, but you are the unprecedented class. You're in a class of kids born into a post 9-11 world. You're strong, you're resilient, you're persistent because you have to be. La Follette High School class of 2020 has been witnessed to and impacted by many unprecedented challenges. What's unprecedented about the class of 2020 is the way you've reacted to adversity. And you've constantly made us proud with the way you've handled yourselves in unprecedented times. Class of 2020, you will find success. I know this because you were groomed for it. Every experience in your life has made you stronger and better prepared for what's next. So take the next step, find your success. The workforce needs the class of 2020. Colleges and universities need the class of 2020. Our community needs the class of 2020. Each of you is beginning a new chapter in your lives. Whether you're going directly to work, taking a gap year, joining the armed forces, or enrolled in a two or four year program. Each of you is tasked with an enormous responsibility to lead your community. Remember to lead that work with love. I'm calling on you to be the example for the older and younger generations and spread the compassion and love you exude for all people. There's no denying that we live in a country that can be unjust. Your charge is to take what you've learned here, this collection of experiences, to interrupt implicit and ingrained patterns. Of any graduating class, the class of 2020 has had an education in the realities of our world where academics have met life. I wanna reminisce for just a second before I close. When I met you all last May, I knew you were talented, I knew you were resilient, and simply amazing. Through the past year of getting to know you, I've seen your true gifts, seen your adaptability, and witnessed you illustrate time and time again the fact that this class is truly incredible. I believe when the class of 2020 is unleashed on the world, you will do the unprecedented. Family, friends, and Lancers, I present to you La Follette High School class of 2020. Aliana Alarcón. Joni Aleman. Archer Algram. Jennifer Alvarez. Celia Amaral. Blaze Anderson. Mamadou Ba. Jonathan Baylor. Denzel Peyton Bailey. Haley Balwig. Riley Banks. Jocelyn Barlow. Jenabu Berry. Samadu Berry. Jonathan Basabe Abarca. 
Rachel Bouts. Mamie Marie Beauchamp Bloombumpke. Christine Becerra. Amil Benton. Amira Benton. Brooks Beverage. Ava Byler. Serena Bland. Grant Orcharding. Valeria Bravo Pena. Alexandria Britton. Jalen Brown. Nicholas Brown. Lexus Browning. Sydney Bruce. Maxwell Bundy. Edgar Cadena. Malcolm Calmiz. Joseph Campbell. Brian Camposeco. Mario Canacasco Rubio. Angel Canales Salazar. William Cantor. Jane Cardenas. Jose Jesus Cardenas. Karime Cardosa. Sophia Carlson. Chase Carver. Janessa Casillas. Brenda Castañeda. Mariama Cisse. Yesenia Cervantes. Binta Cham. Alexandra Chan. Colton Chappelle. Cesar Chavarria Jr. Brandon Chavez. Nadia Chu. Romente Travel Clemens. Francesca Collazo. Kiera Collier. Daniel Connor. Briseida Contreras. Donald Conway. Zoe Cook. Henry Stone Corcoran. Gloria Cornelius. William Counts. Zachary Counts. Paige Craig. Patrick Craig. Manuel A. Guamani. Chad Cumming. Colton Curley. Corey Damore. Cassidy Dalton. Tyshawn Daniels. Isan Darsoni. Isaiah Davis. Aaron DeVries. Janelle DeVries. Kyle DeVries. Menelik Diagni Vasek. Taibatu Diallo. Trent Dillman. Kariana Dillard. Lauren Dillman. Alexandra Dixon. Juan Dominguez. 
Bryce Doyle. Brian Driver. Owen Dubois. Michaela Dunbar. Abraham Duran Martinez. Ryan Engelberger. Tia Engelberger. Ronan Everett. Taylor Fibicar. Harry Joseph Finkelmeyer. Adriana Flores. Lisbeth Flores Valdez. Osiel Flores Gonzalez. Destiny Flowers. Kirsten Fostick. Anna Fox. Curran Frank. Lily Freeland. Marjorie Madison Freeman. Diego Fuentes. Terilyn Fuhrer. Stephanie Garcia Lizama. Kayla Gerke. Carly Guile. Eric Gessner. Yasmin Gonzalez. Sarai Gonzalez Perez. Mary Goss. Anna Graham Cook. Hilda Joe Grau. David Gray. Derek Gray. Victoria Greer. Melanie Shirley Guerra Martinez. Darius Guyton Holman. Kenya Harden. Natalia Haste. Zachary Hausbeck. Jada Hawks. Danielle Hawkins. Jayshawn Hayes. John Hader. Dakota Hecker. Rory Helms. Braden Hengst. Brandy Hernandez Torres. Mackenzie Herman. Sax Higgins. William Hill. Cecilia Hogan. Tegan Holder. Kayla Hollis. Irving Howe. DeAndre Howard. Nora Howell. Anya Hunter. Axel Ipiales Yamberla. Ajafatu Jabang. Fatima Jabang. Anaya Jackman. DeCorie Jackson. Kenneth Jackson. Tajela Jackson. Zephyrin Jager. Mamadou Jallo. Akira James. Danea James. Lonnie Jennings III. Jacob Jennison. Grace Jensen. John Jensen. Swan Johnson. 
Demetrius Jones. Desmond Jones. Reese Jones. Brianna Justiniano. Liliana Karnick. Aaron Casper. Cade Keller. Nicole Kidd. Mara King. Martin King Jr. Jesse Kleiss Garcia. Jack Kluge. Haley Kowalski. Brenna Krenke. Octavius Krohn. Charles Kunkel. Noor Lababidi. Elijah LaBelle. Jacob Larson. Cyrus LaShore. Thomas Lawrence. Savannah Lee. DeMarco Lewis. Kamaya Lewis. Ashley Locke. Juaris Lopez. Alan Lopez Vargas. Megan Lowry. Eric Lumpkin. Sabrina Luna. Sila Link. Gabrielle McLeod. Hannah Renee Mann. Fernanda Martinez. Mariana Martinez. Tyler Massino. Jose Emanuel Matute Duarte. Garrett May. Rafael Mayhew. Tobias McFarlane. Caden Robert McKenna. Almira Medina. Noah Miller. Erika Melchor Lopez. Nathan Mengi. Elias Melanick. Richard Mogensen. Lorena Montes Jimenez. Rocio Montes Shelwa. Teja Moore. Maria Jimena, also known as Julian Morales Grande. Monse Morales Sanchez. Max Viotoria Moran. America Moreno Campa. Winton Mott. Hayden Miller. Grace Mullen. Jamie Munoz Vasquez. Javier Murillo Jr. Gabriel Murphy. Shabriana Murphy. Marguerite Murray. Elisa Nava Orsuna. Lily Newson. Jalani Nichols Floyd. Nicholas Nofke. Chloe Norman. Lillian O'Donnell. Saul Olson. Alana O'Neill. Blessing Ojadele. Facundo Ortiz Santana. 
Mete Ozgen. Kael Pacheco. Rissa Pagel. Tristan Pagel. Alfred Payton III. Molly Peden. Gwendolyn Peterson. Ana Pelayo. Pedro Perez. Anthony Persinger. George Philbin. Imel Pillado Morales. Tania Pollard. Raymond Ponti. Valerie Pov. Videl Pov. Jacobin Prather. Julia Pritchard. Ben Probst. Jonathan Purnell. Angel Quechol Tequalt. Andrew Rakovich. Pafankon Raksaket. Mirdiana Raskob. Anthony Ray. Arnulfo Reyes. Yaneri Melissa Reyes. Nanielle Riak. Sarah Richter. Jessica Reeder. Tatiana Rios Solis. Keisha Robinson. Malik Robinson. Chamali Robinson. Vindia Robinson. Abigail Rogers. Kiara Rogers. Devon Roll Gebert. Benjamin Roloff. Miriam Roman Avalos. Dominic Romero. Samuel Romero. Madeline Ross. Robert Rotter. Jessica Marixa Ruiz Gonzalez. Marquin Rickman. Sneha Sadia. Daquan Sanders. Alexis Sather. Mason Saunders. Jaden Shensky. Eden Schlo Bidet. Elizabeth Schmidt. Claire Schmidt. Matthew Schmidt. Brett Schneider. Bam Schultz. Elijah Scott. Marissa Seeley. Michael Silo. Easton Seifert. Daru Say. Sienna Shaw. Ryan Shabesta. Jocelyn Shores. Autumn Breeze Silva. Cavell Sims. Zachary Sin. Chanel Janae Skinner. Olivia Smith. Oliver Smith. 
Robert Sodermark. Brandon Sowles. Catherine Stam. Jack Steinhofer. Isaiah Stewart. Faith Staluka. George Stobro. Kira Stork. Autumn Strody. Brandon Stuper. Zoe Svano. Kelsey Swingen. Fabius Tabor. Sylvia Taliaferro. Augustine Tatus. Luis Angel Tequanwewe. Joshua Tao. Gerald Tao. Pa Li Tao. Pa Zong Tao. Henry Thies. Juan Tinajero. Savannah Tomlinson. Brian J. Torres Flores. Chantal Trejo. Fernando Troches. Lauren Trowbridge. Sir Amarian Tucker. Samuel Turner. Taquan Turner. Ernesto Ugalde Gonzalez. Kayla Underwood. Tafika Keenan Baumu. Ben Van Cowenberg. Belle Vang. Anna Evelyn Vasquez. Olivia Violante. Luke Vitali. Justin Waldberger. Sebastian Walhood. Ray Walker. Rihanna Walls. Emma Christine Walters. Guinevere Warren. Amber Webb. Tommy West. Jamie Wilcom. Gemini Willoughby. Akiva Zali Wilson. Triona Whitkins. Christopher Wolf. Antoine Wright. Emily Xiong. Miriam Yahiawe. Va Yang. John Yang. Byron Yansapanta. Madeline Zamber. Would the graduates of the class of 2020 please rise and remain standing? On behalf of Superintendent Dr. Jane Belmore, Chief of High Schools Michael Hernandez, and MMSD Board of Education, I hereby certify that the students presented today, the Madison Robert M. La Follette High School Class of 2020, have met all of the requirements for graduation as set forth in board policy 
and are ready to receive their high school diplomas from the Madison Metro School District. It is with great pride that I present to you the Madison Robert M. LaFollette High School Senior Class of 2020. Graduates, please move the tassel on your graduation cap from the right to the left, signifying the milestone that you've earned your high school diploma. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Yelling off the balcony late July Just waiting for your friends to leave And finally, so can we, so can we
yelling off the balcony all the time Just waiting for your friends to leave And finally, so can we, so can we Thank you, graduates, friends, family, faculty, and staff, for joining News 3 Now and Channel 3000 for this special celebration. Class of 2020, born to make history. Madison's not happy treating people differently because of their race. I've learned when I've been out reporting on the front lines at